Kate Stewart. You see those fresh tires. Stewart, I believe, was in and made a pit stop, which is why he is a lap down. Look at him just all over the back bumper of the 24. If I were John Worry, I would let the 16 on by. I mean, don't press the issue. Here's Cade Stewart trying to get his car back. I believe it would be put him onto the lead lap again. And he will do so. Here's Patrick Scroggins coming back onto the, pit, onto the racetrack again. He's been making numerous pit stops after being involved in a wreck earlier on. But he is still soldiering on, trying to at least finish the race. So John Worry lets Cade Stewart on past. But now he's catching up to Cade Stewart again. He's catching up to Mark George, Doug Shears, and last week's winner, Wyatt Johnston. Boy, this will be interesting to see what Johnston does to try and keep his number nine Stanley Tools Ford on the lead lap. Lap 50 on the board. We're looking at about maybe 10 more laps before we undergo green flag pit stops. And then we will finish off this race. The 24 car, been out front. <coughs> Sorry. All day long. And now he's trying to battle it out with lap traffic. He is in the lap traffic. Cade Stewart to the inside of Doug Shears. I believe that would be for position, but I'm not certain. He opens up the door for John Worry to go to the inside of the 83. John Worry, remember, though, is on older tires, not able to move around the racetrack as freely as Cade Stewart's newer Goodyears. And I have to say, I've been pretty impressed so far with Goodyear's new tire. Drivers seem to be able to cope with it. Here we go. John Worry all over the back bumper of Doug Shears. He was literally shoving him there through turns one and two. TJ Morrishead is starting to catch John Worry. Before, we couldn't see him at all in our screen. Now, when they enter into turn three, we can see him now almost about halfway down the back stretch. So the number 56 Napa Toyota is catching up to the leader. Well, before they make green flag pit stops, as John Worry continues to try and just, uh, I think he's just riding behind lap traffic here. Oh, he's slowing. John Worry is coming for pit road. Green flag pit stops are underway. On lap 53, John Worry will bring his car down pit road. Martin Zakala is on pit road. Brian LaFleur Jr. also making a green flag stop for his number 43 Best Buy Ford. There's Colin Cropley. He is on the pit road. Four tires and fuel. That's all these drivers are looking for. But it has to be a flawless pit stop. Worry started up at the front of this field. He's going to pull in. Morrishead. He already made his pit stop. He's gone. Vincent Marsh is on pit road now. Let's see who else is on pit road. There you see Cropley. There's Brian Flair Jr. Noel Stiller's on pit road. Zakala just completed his stop. Catherine Bowman on pit road. Lots of cars. Look at this. Nick Eggleston, Anthony Nodder, Chad Skinner, Arnold Columbia, Philip Stiller. Let's go to our pit road camera and take a look at these cars. There's Noel Stiller. He's on pit road. Kenny McCreary, Timmy Pacioli just finishing up. Anthony Nodder coming off now. Noah Cars will do the same. Arnold Columbia, Jake Berg. Here comes Robert Ban. A whole host of cars here. Chad Skinner, Jake Cole, Nick Eggleston, Ben Stern, Wyatt Johnston, Doug Shears, Sean Galligan. McCreary and Harvey finish their pit stops. Philip Stiller, Jordan Hetzer. There's Alex Ban. Could be interesting to see who's going to file out as the leader. There's Arn Andrew Gonzalez, Mike Newman. Here come Kurt Sudar off pit road along with Jacob Binzer, Tay Kovac, James Silverfox, Mark George, Matt LaFlair. Green flag pit stops going on here. There's Patrick Scroggins on pit road yet again. Let's see, I believe maybe the pit stops have ended. Bubba Fitzpatrick making a pit stop now as he's coming off pit road. There's Eric Neon. He was on the lead lap. He's making a pit stop. He's one of the last cars to make a pit stop. Here comes Anthony McCrary off pit road, the 88 amp National Guard Chevy. He's just finished up his pit stop. I can't tell if there's anybody else on pit road. It doesn't look like it. Let's see if John Worry cycles out as the leader still. 
and indeed he does. Worry is still our leader in second now is going to be TJ Morrishead back here. Sean Galligan's gone a lap down, as has Wyatt Johnston, it looks like. In third position, running now, is Vincent Marsh, with Kenny McCreary still battling it out with him. And uh, fifth, I believe, is Michael Harvey, Catherine Bowman there in sixth. Seventh place is going to go to Cade Stewart. Cade Stewart had to make that pit stop earlier on. What strategy for the 16? Currently now in the seventh position. Great strategy by the 16 car. Eighth is Eric Neon. Ninth is Andrew Gonzalez. And Cropley is currently in 10th. 11th is Pacioli. 12th is Brian LaFleur Jr. 13th, Mike Newman. 14th is Noel Stiller. 15th is Anthony Nodder. 16th, Noah Cars. 17th will go to, um, I believe, Martin Zakala. Arnold Columbia is 18th, 19th is Jake Berg, and Kurt Sidar rounds out the top 20. 21st is Jacob Ward. He, I don't think, will have to make a pit stop again. He's already been on pit road. Going to be 15 laps of racing left to go. John Worry is your current leader, but he has a lot of traffic, but so does TJ Morshead. Morrishead has to make his way past the cars of Wyatt Johnson, Anthony McCurry, Nick Eggleston, and Sean Galligan to even think about challenging for the win. A lot of race cars going a lap down that I don't think we expected to. Nick Eggleston, who's having a great season so far, he's been one of those that's been just biding his time. He hasn't yet won a race, but he's really doing well in the point standings. Anthony McCrory has also been doing well in the standings. I believe he's up in the, uh, I want to say... I think he finished 10th last week at Talladega. And uh, let's see, who else there? Sean Galligan, who was our points leader last week, but then ended up losing it to another car back there, Wyatt Johnston, who is one lap down. Last week's winner at Talladega and our points leader coming into this race. Now, I'm looking as closely as I can, trying to figure out who would be our points leader when we leave this race. Leave this race. I do not think that it will be Wyatt Johnston, due to the fact that he is one lap down. I'm trying to look at the cars on the lead lap who are up in the top 10 that are closest up to those standings. I believe running in 8th is Eric Neon. He may be the driver who will lead the point standings when we leave this race. But the question still remains, who's going to win this race? John Worry has had the hardest luck of any driver so far this season in the Snickers Cup Series. Today, he has not relinquished that lead since the start of the race. He is currently 10 laps away from finding a silver lining in the gray cloud of 2011 with a possible win in line for the 24. However, there are still 10 laps of anything possibly happening that the 24 car will have to fight through. I do believe Jacob Ward, even though I'm not sure if he had to, I think he did make a pit stop the 97 car, the 24 of John Worry coming right up on the back bumper of the Extends Toyota. John Worry continuing to lead. We have had a pretty uneventful day here in the R Factor 300. Oh, Robert Bann gets turned around almost in front of the leader's caution flag is out. Robert Bann got turned around off of somebody. I'm not sure who, but I saw his car sideways. There's Robert Mann. He's running 32nd now. Not sure where he was running at the time. Let's take a look, see what happened to Robert Mann's 22 Pennzoil Dodge. And it looks like it's going to be the 77 of Jacob Binzer, the culprit. Robert Mann was running 21st at the time. I don't know if he came up on the 14 and had to woe up and the 77 got into the back of him. I'm not sure. Nonetheless, I don't think Robert Band hit anything. Here you see his car go into a four-wheel slide, but I think he's able to woe up the 22 car and do a 360, turn it back around. 
but that happened right in front of John Worry as you see him coming by on the left side of your screen there, that reddish car, and the caution does wave here on lap 65. So we are getting ready to go back under the green flag. John Worry has about four race cars, actually make that six race cars, between himself and second place TJ Mooreshead for the start of this race. Nick Eggleston, Wyatt Johnston, Anthony McCreary, Sean Galligan, and Robert Ban. They will all start between John Worry and TJ Mooreshead. It looks like it's going to be five, or actually four laps to go when they come down this time. Remember, it's a single file restart this way because of the fact that uh, we are less than 10 laps to go. John Worry, older tires, I would say, is going to have to give way to Nick Eggleston. TJ Morris had got a very slow start, though. John Worry, I would let the 27 go by. I think he's got this thing maybe wrapped up. He would love to think that because this would be the first win for John Worry, and it would cap off, or at least start off, a very good run, hopefully, for the 24 car for 2011. He's had a horrible luck so far this season, I believe, and I, believe, I think he said, and I believe he's right, every wreck, or every race that we've come to, he's been involved in a wreck one way or another. Coming down this time, two laps to go for John Worry. He's still battling on the high side with that 27 of Nick Eggleston. Here's McCreary and Wyatt Johnston battling. I think that's for position, even though they are a lap down. Sean Gallagher and Robert Ban also there. Morrishead has about half a straightaway between himself and the leader. I don't think he's going to get the win here today. White flag in the air for John Worry. What a race for John Worry. He needed to step it up. Needed to get this season turned around. It looks like he's going to be able to do so today. Leading all 75 laps of this race, I believe. He may not have due to the green flag pit stops. But, nonetheless, whether he's led 75 or just one, he's led the one that counts. Checkered flag, John Worry wins the R-Factor 300 here at Martinsville. The 2011 season starts to turn around for the 24 team. How about that? John Worry, when it counts, getting that win here at Martinsville and in dominant fashion. Morrishead will finish in second. I believe Kenny McCreary took third with Vincent Marsh, I believe, in fourth. John Worry is your winner here at the R-Factor 300 here at Martinsville. Hope you enjoyed today's race. Tune in next time when we head to Texas. For race number seven, John Worry, your winner here. You've been watching the Snickers Cup Series, a production of the NNSCRA Sports Channel. We'll see you next time. Here come the finishing results and the standings. Eric Neon is your new points leader.